welcome back to my channel. So today I have a digital speed paint to show you and it was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed doing it. Um, it's a speed paint of Katara from Avatar The Last Airbender in her Fire Nation outfit because I've always liked Katara as a character. She's not like my favorite character from Avatar, but I've always really liked her and respected her. Even though I don't necessarily agree with all of the decisions she makes, I think that she is a really strong character and a really good role model. And I really like Katara and I love her Fire Nation outfit. I think it's gorgeous and I love her hair in it and I love the colors of the red with her blue eyes and I thought it would be really fun to draw her because we, me and my sister have been re-watching Avatar The Last Airbender and I was just feeling super nostalgic and inspired and I thought it'd be fun to do the like red of her Fire Nation outfit with the blue of like water bending in the background. So I decided to draw Katara. So that's kind of like my motivation behind it, I guess. And I just have the coloring of this um, recorded. I did try to record the sketching line and line art and then like the flat colors, but unfortunately the recording software that I used did not work as it had worked during the test phase and I did not have any recordings of it. So I tried to record it and it failed epically, <laughs> um, but I do have a recording of the coloring, so hopefully you all will enjoy that at least. Um, I think the coloring is kind of a little bit um, interesting, at least. I don't know, I really like seeing sketching. Um, line art I think is pretty boring, but um, I think coloring is pretty interesting. So, uh, yeah, I did this in Photoshop. I believe I'm using CC 2014 because my computer doesn't like 2015 and it makes it run really really slowly. So I painted most of this with just like a very very simple basic brush. I just use the basic Photoshop hard brush and I turn pen pressure on and off and I turn the hardness up and down depending on what I need. Um, I have been recently painting a lot with the pen pressure turned off. Um, it's something that my digital painting teacher has encouraged me to try and it can be really awkward at first. Um, and I do turn it on to get into really small details, but it's been really, really helpful for me when laying out colors, especially painting big areas, because I don't have to guess what size the paintbrush is gonna be. Um, but I did make sure to use uh, pen pressure on things like her hair, because you really want that tapered point and stuff like that. I also make sure to have transfer on um, whenever I'm doing any of my blending. I do turn it off occasionally when I'm blocking in colors, but when you're shading, you really want to have transfer on because that really helps you to blend your colors. So yeah, for this image, I kind of wanted it to have uh, kind of a simple look, I guess. I didn't want to go too overboard with the shading. I find that I have a really hard time balancing shading with line art. When I have visible line art, um, I try not to let my shading get too, too deep because I find it contrasts strangely with the line art. I also chose to have the line art colored and it's actually like a dark red because I thought it was a really interesting contrast against the blue background and I really liked the softer look that it gave the piece. So I tried to add depth with the shading but I tried not to go overboard um, so it's in kind of like flat lighting I guess. But I also wanted like the blue from the background to reflect back on her and like her hair and stuff like that. Um, and later on I used some like, gradients and textures and blending modes to kind of enhance that effect and um, to push the shadows a little bit more and kind of make the picture do a little bit more of what I was envisioning. So one of my favorite things, and I mentioned this in my previous digital painting about digital painting, is you can do some really fun stuff with post-processing to really get the picture to look exactly how you want. So that's a lot of fun. Um, her hair took a really long time because she has a lot of hair. So by the end of it, I was not thinking her hair was as pretty as I originally thought. I was like, Tara, I like your hair still. Oh, actually, no, I don't. I hate it. It's too much hair. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But um, that definitely was the most time consuming part was painting her hair. Um, not too much else to say about the picture. Um, I do use a brush in the background when I paint the background and it's a brush that I made myself um, and I think it came out really cool. I made it in my digital painting class and I think it looks kind of like watercolory. Um, I'm about to use it right now so 
I was really happy with how that turned out, um, how the use of that turned out, and it's the first time I've used it in a painting, so that was really fun. It's always fun to make your own brushes and then use them. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it about the painting. Um, not a whole lot else going on right now, but I have finally found a digital recording software that I really like, I have full access to, so I'm hoping we'll do some a lot more digital recordings in the future, so hopefully you guys like them. I like them. <laughs> so yeah, thank you so much for watching. I really hoped that you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you're a fan of Avatar The Last Airbender and who your favorite character is. And as always, guys, thanks for watching and have a great rest of your day. Patreon or Patreon, I someone told me I say it wrong, but whatever. I'm gonna keep saying it. It's kind of like an ongoing Kickstarter where you can go and like support your favorite artists. So a lot of YouTube artists have it and you can go and